Hey everybody, I'm April and this is Blushing Phoenix and I help people move past their redness and into living their best life. So for the new year, uh, making some changes here and there of moving away from just constant urethrophobia and blushing talk, that will definitely still be a topic here, but I wanted to move a little more into just sharing some of the things that I've learned over the years throughout my own personal journey, throughout my career, uh, just, you know, anything that could be helpful to you. I want to be able to share those insights here. And so that's what I plan to do today. And we're going to talk about vision boards. So stick around. It's a vision board. We're going to talk about my experience with vision boards and why I think they're important and why you might want to create your own. It is a super snowy day here in Nashville, Tennessee, oh, which is, which is not normal. So let me show you. See? It's snowy. Not our norm usually. All right, let me set you back up here because I was trying to sit in my chair. All right, I just want to tell you a quick story, my own experience with the vision board, which is really interesting because, because you know, law of attraction. It's an energy that you're putting out. It's a field of vibration that is going to draw things back to you because you are believing and thinking and knowing that you have already received. Now that might feel a little woo woo to some people, uh, but I figure it really can't hurt anything. So why not try it out? So I started doing this probably um, about, I mean, years ago. And what it was is I actually started with my journal. I have multiple journals. I'm gonna do another episode on that one day uh, about, uh, I was looking for the journal, but I don't see it. I've got multiple journals where I wrote things to myself um, that this is how it's going to be. This is who I will be. These are the things that I will have. And it's not just always these, you know, possessions. It's, it's um, clarity, healthy mental state. You know, the way I wanted my body to look, the way I wanted to feel. I would let myself um, just write out the emotion, the feeling, the visualization um, of, of who and where and what I wanted to be. And I noticed that things in my life started to change. So to start 2022, I wanted to be sure that I had a vision board ready because I haven't made one honestly in like a year uh, because I got pregnant and I use that as my excuse for everything. But my husband and I had a goals board together before we had the baby, but I didn't have a vision board. So I created my vision board for 2022 and it's pretty simple. Um, the thing is I do put some material things on here because why not? But for the most part, it's just really like, you know, what do I want to accomplish for the year? I've got a book coming out in June, 2022. And so I, I put a Oprah's book club on here and New York times bestseller and you know, some other things that I want to accomplish with YouTube or, you know, what I want my hair to look like and places I want to visit and things I want to do with my family. But the reason why I really want to talk to you uh, with in this video today is because I wanted to tell you about my previous vision board, which is from, it's from, it was for 2020. I created a vision board. Okay, here it is. So obviously you're going to see some good gluteus maximus stuff going on here because that's an area I really wanted to focus on and target for 2020. Um, obviously when I created this vision board, I didn't know everything that was going to happen in 2020, uh, global pandemic. But what I did do is I put a lot of things that were relational on here for me. So there were like friendships, you know, like uh, rooftop bars, having a good time out with friends, uh, traveling. There's some spa stuff on here. What else do we have? Speaking in front of groups of people. There's some material things, very peaceful and serene reading and things with my husband. But what I really want to draw your attention to is this right here, Fortune Magazine. So, so the reason why I even put the Fortune Magazine on here, this picture, is because it says the 50 most powerful women 
that's why I put it on here. I didn't put it on here because it was Fortune magazine. It's because it was a woman on the front of a magazine cover. I didn't even consider that it was Fortune magazine. I just saw her and saw that it said 50, the, the 50 most powerful women and decided to put that on my vision board. It was not until the end of 2020 that um, I, cause, so I had forgotten about this. I'd put it in my office. I threw it down behind a, like a shelf and uh, I, th I think it was sitting on the shelf and then, you know, it fell. And so I didn't realize it, it had fallen. But I was cleaning up my office. This was later in 2020. I was cleaning up my office and I saw her face, this woman's face, <laughs> through the shelf. And I was like, what is that? And I realized, oh, that's my vision board. And behind her head, I saw F... O R. So it kind of was sitting like this. I couldn't see any of this. I just saw F O R. And I thought, no way. That's got to say like Forbes or something like that. So I pull this out from behind the little shelf and I see that it says fortune. And I'm like, you know how you know when something works? And you do it because you know that it works, but then it actually works. And <laughs> you're like, what the hell? If you're new here, you probably never heard me talk about this, but if you are a Blushing Phoenix original and you've been here for a while, then you've heard me tell this story or tell the story or you know about this situation. In October, 2020, I was featured in Fortune Magazine. <laughs> um, with no doing of my own, no one had ever seen this uh, vision board that I have, of course but our marketing brand manager put together an opportunity for me and the president to speak to fortune magazine this is the article inside a fortune magazine fortune magazine which was on my vision board fortune magazine it works it works i mean you can go out and find all kinds of videos about the um the science behind it the neurological happenings um you can i mean there's so so much information about it and i didn't want to get into all that today i just kind of wanted to tell you my story that uh i create a vision board because i believe they work because i know they work and Obviously, I could go through like years of vision boards that I've had in the past and show you. Then I did this and I did this. If you followed my journey for any time, you know that before I got pregnant, um, I did sculpt my body. I did lose a lot of weight. I cleared my mind and just like mind, body, spirit got so much better, so much healthier. So there were so many different things. At one time, I think I had on there that I wanted to start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel. One time I had on there that I wanted to get my life coaching certification got my life co coaching certification. There's a lot of different things that have come to fruition because of my vision board. And sometimes it doesn't happen in that year, but it might be the next year that things come to fruition. If you want 2022 or any year, whenever you're watching this, to be different than the year before, you have to change. Things won't change until you change. And starting a vision board or writing out what it is that you want to feel and how you want to be is actually sometimes more beneficial than actual material things. But by all means, put the material things on there. Let them manifest. Um, I am speaking from my own experience that this absolutely works for me. It worked for me. And there's just something about um, getting your wants and needs and expressions and um, fulfillments on paper or out of your mind and into some sort of visual. Things that are in motion tend to stay in motion. And if you've been anything like me, uh, dealing with any sort of lowliness regarding the pandemic or postpartum, or just one of those seasons where you're evolving and you're changing and you're shifting and you just need to be alone for a while, Sometimes you can get into these very sulking places and that's fine. I think there's a lot of healing and there's a lot of great, powerful things that happen in those sulking places. But when it's time to come out and you know it's time to come out and you're kind of lagging a little bit, writing down who you want to be can shift the whole game for you. Doing a vision board can shift your whole perspective because now you've taken a step to what's next for me. I really hope that 2020 brings you everything that you want, but more so than just sitting around and 
hoping for things to just magically happen. I hope that this is the year that you take control of your outcomes. I hope it's the year that you stop leaning on your childhood traumas. I hope it's the year that you stop considering all the things of the past and I am how I am and I do what I do because of my past. And I hope that you stop letting your past control you and that you start a new day for real this time, a new fresh year for real this time. Because although you are validated in what had happened to you and the way you feel and all of the soft and squishy things that I would want to say to be respectful to you and what you've been through because I don't know what those things are, but I know we've all been through some hardships. Me saying the next part doesn't take away from any of the validation or you having the right to feel a certain way or have time to sulk. By all means, do it. But there comes a time when you have to pack your shit up and move on. So wherever you are on your journey, I respect it and that's totally okay, but I hope you would consider changing something and therefore changing you. So Steve Harvey says, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. And if you think about how a vision board is so effective, it's because it will take your thoughts, it will take your visions, it will take all of that imaginary stuff in your head and it turns it into something real and tangible. So when we put what we're seeing, what we want, and we get very clear and concise and we put that down on a vision board, we write it in a journal, but especially on a vision board because it's, it's imagery. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. And if you think this is one of those things like, oh, law of attraction, this is all that woo woo stuff, then hey, that's your prerogative. But what does it hurt to just do it and see? Now, it's more than just doing it. There is an attitude, there's an energy behind it. But even if you took the effort and you just put three pictures on a board with the intention to become or to obtain or to have, and it's not so much about just saying that you want, it's about believing in internally that you already have it, that you're already living in abundance, you're already moving with that, you already have that body you want, you already have those possessions that you want, you have the job that you want. Try it out. I can promise you from my own experience, you will not be disappointed. All right, my friends, that is it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. I hope it encouraged and inspired you. I hope that my story about Fortune Magazine, which is so crazy, lets you know that this is real. And if you need to make some changes in your life and you wanna do something different, Things will change when you change. All right, my friends, that's what I wanna share with you today regarding vision boards. If you are creating a vision board or that's something that you do every year, or you know, you don't have to do it every year, you can do it whenever you want, let me know in the comments below how that has worked out for you and what crazy things have popped up in your real life that you put on the board. And if you haven't done a vision board, are you considering creating one. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, my friends, I will see you in my next video.